Boom, what's up everybody? This is John Kitchens. This is episode 60 of Expert Mentors Live, man. Super excited for today's episode. We've got the one and only Mr. Jay Kinder on and uh, man, we're gonna be talking wealth chart. Um, obviously answer some questions from the Q&A, jump into chat and um, I, you know we'll d jump into other things as well. So, cuz, say hello to the Honey Badger Nation. and uh, Honey Badger Nation. Let's rock and roll. Right on. All right. So, so, so what we've been working on, and this is going to be, this is going to be epic. Um, and I have to give credit where credit is due because Mr. Reese and Woods Davis have been um, working through this. I think, you know, the first version of this, I did a V1 and, um, and this is like a V2, V3 uh, kind of, of the, um, the seven steps of the agent attraction system. And what we've been working on is how to grow fast um, and how to really, you know, leverage and grow fast. And, you know, and the first kind of step we're going to talk about, these are the seven steps and I'll kind of briefly go through this, um, this, and then I want to talk about um, the wealth chart and the new wealth chart that we've created and why, why we created it, what it's all about and uh, how to yeah, leverage it, which if y'all can see, it's up here on my board right here on my wall. So Love it. I've got it executed and, and I'm using it daily and it's uh, the thing that keeps me, keeps me going. So um, to, um, to give, um, I guess a little bit of context, since this is just for our group, um, um, you know, what, what's the opportunity here, right? Um, you know, this month marks my 18th month at EXP, um, 47 people who personally, uh, sponsored in the, in the company, um, only three of which have actually done anything in agent attraction of real substance, um, to give you, give, just to give you a, a you know, a little bit of, uh, of hope it's not going to be everybody doing a ton of recruiting it's going to be a handful of people doing a few Fine. What, what is what is real substance kind of give everybody some context to that and, um, i don't have the exact numbers i went through actually i went through the board and i looked and i counted it and i was like i think probably out of the 47 i would say 40 of them don't have more than four um wow. uh, something along that um don't I would say 40 of them probably don't have more than two um, yeah. to be real honest. Yeah. And so, um, you know, so there's, there's just, you know, not a lot of people that are focused on it um, that I personally sponsored. So that that's in and, that, and that's okay because that 47 is still turned into 1720 something and they closed 900 and something transactions this month. And they just deposited um, 126,000, 900 and something dollars in my bank account this month uh, from revenue share from those agents. So yep. um, it, you know, that's mind blowing <laughs> no, uh, for starters, mind blowing. Um, but, but the importance of what we're talking about today is really um, the systems we're learning by studying with um, and really paying close attention to the book, building an empire that everybody should read uh, yep. Brian Carruthers. Um, and, and he's in legal shield, which is a great product. And also, yeah, man, I got mine. So much. Like, yeah, get your you guys get your copy. Get it on Audible. Any it's that net time, right? Cause it's that it's that no extra time, right? Tony Robbins. It's um you know Darren Hardy talks about it. Man, get it on play. He's got short chapters. You can listen to them over and over and over and over again. Take advantage. Yep. And so so really, what you know what what this boils down to is um is how do we help everybody win? And um you know I think what the you know if you looked at the last eighteen months, which have been great and it's been the funnest eighteen months of my career. Um, the, the, the hardest thing that we had tried to do was, is get people to, um, to, to send the video. Um, you know, I think, you know, at some point, you know, there were, there were people teaching, you know, go sit down and watch the video with them. I mean, like, that's just, um, madness. And like, for, for, for me, uh, I think there's, you know, there's this, this process that, that is, and Michael's definitely the same way. Um, you know, it's like, damn, there's gotta be a better way. <laughs> you know, there's gotta be a better way. This, you know? And so you start studying and you start looking and you start seeking. And, um, uh, you know, that's, you know, that's the process for change. You know, it starts to, starts to always open up when I think about that, but you know, that, you know, you have, you know, you have the awareness that this could be better. You have the desire to want to, you know, to, 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 you know, get better at this age of attraction stuff. And, and then you, you know, you start to seek and you ask, you know, ask questions and, and uh, then you're willing to receive what those, uh, those, those uh, answers you're getting. And then you take massive immediate action uh, and then you persist um, and then you create daily habits around those things that are getting results. And then you ultimately have somebody helping keep you let accountable. Me, let me, um, I, I want to do something real quick um, for what you just said. I want to give everybody some context to it. Um, I, I just stole the screen share from you and I'm just sharing this slide uh, yeah. for you guys to look at. 
it's uh it's the recipe for changing anything in your life it's just exactly what what uh what jay walked through there right you have to have the desire you've got to seek you've got to ask you got to be willing to receive you've got to take action you got to be persistent and then you've got to be you know find somebody to hold you to to that accountability and the hardest thing here is uh for for most for most people the hardest part is to ask right, right. so right and I, and I think uh you know it, it's you know if if you take that which when i first you know when i first saw this that breakdown you know i started applying it to things that where i where i didn't get results right and right. And, and you see real clearly like where you fell off right and so the one thing that i added to it that's not wasn't on there john was after persist it's it's the habits right like you know i think that, i think that you know if you really want to be successful at anything you can persist but it's the habits that you create that are going to ultimately, you know, be what helps you to persist. Right. 100%. You know, it's, it's, it's either part of persist or it's the next step. I don't know if you'd call it a step or not, but I think developing those habits are the key. And, um, you know, and, and, you know, one of the things that's a habit that, you know, that you want to have is having your damn wealth chart out where you're looking at it every day. And, you know, this is the opportunity of a lifetime. We, you can, we can do the math. We can act, you know, I, you know, we can do the math all day long and show you the opportunity, but either you're doing something daily with age and attraction or you're not. Right. And, um, and, and that's the, 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 the way, one of the, the best ways to do that is, is it the begin as a beginning of this process. Um, so, um, let me go back to this, this, uh, I think I'm on the right one. Okay. So you know, the first thing is get excited. Um, I think, uh, you know, that's not hard for me, um, <laughs> for 18 months, um, and, you know, get excited about the opportunity. And, and the second thing is creating your list. Um, then, you know, booking a PGP, which is a, a, a um, a personal group presentation, uh, then three-way calls after that, and then make sure you're attending all the events and all the trainings and the, the weekly lunch and learns locally. Those are, that's really kind of the process. And so, you know, the, this, this, the wealth chart that we just kind of released, I'm going to go ahead and shift over to, hey, it ought yeah, to shift on to that. And, and, and just so, <clears throat> just so you guys know, one of the, the number one thing, and, you know, we said this even, even going through coaching and in our mastermind group is, you know, that was, that was one of the advantages that everybody had in the group is to take advantage of you guys in a one-on-one -on -one capacity. But how many people didn't take advantage of it, right? It's still mind-blowing to this day. And there's one person that, that understands that three-way principle and, and takes advantage of it more than anybody. And you called him out at, at the last mastermind, Dan Hillsman. Like, yeah. who is on your calendar more than anybody? Dan Hillsman, no, no doubt. There's, there's one thing, you know, you can count on every, every weekend. That's going to be a call with Dan Hillsman. I love and, it. And that, and, and, and that, that's the three way call. So the, the group, let me, let me, um, let me kind of go back to the group presentation thing here. So I'm going to unshare this for a second before we get into this. And I, I want to explain the, the, the importance of the wealth chart. Um, but before we do it, I want to explain the, the number one thing I think that we've learned. Did it unshare? Am I unshare? Yep, you're unshare. So the, the number, the, the biggest thing, okay, the biggest thing we got, like the biggest thing that, that we've got um, and that, that if I could go back in 18 months and, and do would be changing from the process of, you know, inviting people to watch the, the video um, and, um, and then following up with the people who do and replacing that with within the first seven days. And this is a new mindset too, by the way. Every person that you personally bring into the company, you do a, 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 a group presentation, a PGP, um, um, a personal group presentation. And the, that's, that is um, uh, done via a Zoom call. And the way we do that is, and I'll just give you an, a, an example. This isn't going to be the exact script, but I want to give you just and, and give you just a little bit of teeth to it, is rather than saying, hey, you know, the biggest mistake people make, I talked to somebody the other day that their whole process was sitting people down and talking to them about EXP. I'm like, guys, that's not going to work, okay? Nobody's, nobody wants to leave their brokerage and join EXP. You know, that's not, that's not the best way to present, the, present this. And, and you know, we did it too at, at a certain point, I think, you know, but everybody kind of, you know, gets away from what, well, what should the process be, right? And um, it's, like, it's like going on a listing presentation and giving price. Right. Like if you're going to give them the price, then you're what else you got left? That's it. <laughs> they can go list it with anybody they want. So, you, you know, you got to have a process for how you do things. And, and with with this group presentation, you, you know, the, the text message and this, the way I explain this is if you got somebody's name, if you if you text message somebody and their name's probably in your phone, that's the main group of people that, that this is going to pertain to. 
They're people that know who you are and they're likely going to respond positively to anything you ask them to do if it seems like a good opportunity. And so, you know, you know, you say, you know, something along the lines of, hey, you know, I don't know if, you, if you're aware, I'm, you know, really stepping up my game this year. I'm, you know, motivated to, to do a lot better this year in real estate. I've got an opportunity um, to, to get on the phone with, uh, uh, you know, uh, with, with a guy that's, you know, basically doing something very disruptive in real estate. And he's one of the top guys in the company. He's making over a hundred grand a month passively. If I could get you on a call with him next week, my kids are my kids are in here. I'm, that was my silent get out of here. I'm on a <laughs> in a minute. No iPads. No iPads. <laughs> they're eating chocolate and they're coming in to tell me to buy more Kinder chocolate. The the Kinder chocolate, oh, you know. Yep. Yeah. So uh, so you know if I was you know if I was able to if I was able to get him on a call, you know, would you be open to jumping on with me? Right. So like, who's going to say, no, I don't want to get on the phone with somebody who's making a hundred grand a month. And it doesn't have to be that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to be clear, like you're, you want to edify whoever you're doing this group presentation with. So anyone in your upline can be edified. It's one of the top gals in the company. Um, she's, you know, she's killing it. She knows how to make money in this business. Um, yeah. she, you know, she, she's, you know, she definitely going to, um, you know, is can, can help answer questions. So like, that's kind of the, um, the, you know, the script for that. But what, what, what's been amazing is, you know, if you go invite your sphere of influence of people in real estate that you know all to that call, um, um, and you can let them know that they're not, you know, that, hey, this is a, you know, it's a group call. I'm going to have a handful of the people of the top people that I'd love to be in business with and partner with um, on that call. So just so you know, so you can put a fake name if you want to, if you don't want anybody to see that you're on the call, just so you know, or whatever. So you can make them aware of that, that there's going to be a handful of people on. Um, but you know, you get six or eight people on that call and they have not seen the, the EXP presentation at this point. That, this is the big difference. This is how you get a higher percentage of people to say yes by sharing the opportunity without trying to get them to watch a video, get them to get on a live call. And so on that live call, what, what, you know, what basically that process, the way it works, you, you know, there's a whole process to it that you should watch and, and there'll probably be a video if, it, if Mike hasn't done one, um, there will be one soon. Um, that, um, that, you know, you, you edify, you know, uh, the person that's doing that group call, um, you know, you talk them up and then let them turn them loose and, um, you know, let them know, you know, um, it's going to be about 20 minutes. My calls usually last, last about 20 minutes. I, I do a really brief story, backstory on me, you know, our businesses, stuff like that. And then, uh, you know, how we got the XP. And then, um, I basically share with them kind of, you know, what the revenue share opportunity is. And then I go through a handful of slides of, a handful of slides of the, um, um, of the, of the EXP presentation slides and um, let them know, Hey, listen, if you're interested, um, you know, text, you know, text John, you know, if, if we did the call and you, you put all those people on the call, say like, if you're interested, you know, we're looking for just a handful of people to partner with that really want to, you know, really want to take this, their business to the next level, really want to take this um, opportunity to the next level. Um, you know, text John right away. And um, what we'll do is we'll schedule a three-way call. I'll answer any questions you have. Um, and we'll, you know, we'll, we'll start, you know, looking at this closer and seeing if it's a good fit for you. And it. so with that, um, with that, you know, you're, you know, the people are reaching back out to you and then you can schedule those three-way calls. And, and now we have, you know, two, three, four people out of 10, you know, maybe more, we've been seeing a lot higher conversion than that of at least high level interest, um, you know, with a, a lot of people at once. So, you know, what's, what's good about this is instead of growing slow, you grow fast. It's a better success story for your people to tell. It's like, listen, I came on, I brought five people in the first week. You're like, that's, you know, that, but, but the discipline of consistently doing that is the key. Um, and with every single person, this is duplicatable. This is duplicatable, right? Like that's what we, you know, like that's the one thing that matters in everything we do. It doesn't matter if I can do something special or whatever. It's all about duplication when that is a duplicatable process. You can get everybody to send that text to, to the top people that they know, and they'll get on a group call. And in one call, I can talk to 10 people instead of Maybe you get those 10 people to watch one or two, one or two of them to watch the video and you may get one of them on a call with me. Right. That's just way more um, leverage, right? So yeah, that's, that's basically the process. So um, Jose's asking, you know, um, this meeting will be their first exposure before anything else. Correct. Ideally. Correct. And, 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 and here's the thing. Um, if somebody says, you know, yeah, you know, I know, I already know you're at EXP. And again, most, most people, in, if you did this in the beginning, they wouldn't know that necessarily. Some of them will, cause you may have already reached out to them, but in the, it, it should be the very first step before you tell anybody. Um, but, it, but if, if you did and they say, yeah, you're at EXP, say, listen, man, I know everybody's probably talked to you about EXP. Everybody thinks they know about EXP, but I'm telling you, you haven't seen this the way you're about to see it. 
This is completely different. It's a different opportunity. This is what, what the people that are making the most amount of money are doing. And, and most people just don't understand it. And so like, if you haven't talked, if you haven't been on a call with these guys or whatever, whoever it is you're edifying, if you haven't been on a call like this, you know, then you definitely want to get on this call because I think it's going to blow your mind. Um, and you know, people that respect you are going to get on that call. You know, if they have, if they have any respect for you, they're going to get on the call. And so, you know, I think that's, um, you know, that's kind of the key. If you have somebody that pushes back, <clears throat> but keep in mind, <clears throat> this process is to exhaust the people of, in your sphere of influence that, that would likely say yes, if you were to send a text message like that. Sure. So it doesn't work for people that don't know you. I mean, that's not going to be the process. So, um, but that's a, it's a huge way to get a big lift in the beginning. And, and the reason I think this is important is I've had, a handful of agents that come into the company and they, and they, um, they're for whatever reason, their expectations, you know, and they're not hundred percent happy or, you know, they're kind of on an Island in, in a market where there's not a lot of agents that are, you know, that are with them and stuff like that. And, um, and you know, a couple months go by and, you know, I got one that had a couple text messages over the course of, you know, the first four months they were in the company and they were just kind of bitching about little things like, sure. how do I do that? Da, 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 da. And, and I could tell they were a little bit frustrated. They had not done anything with agent attraction at all. Um, and then, you know, they had brought over like one, I think is what it, what it boiled down to in the very beginning. And that one, um, I, I got the next text message I got was, I just got $600 in revenue share. You know what I'm saying? Like happiest person on the planet, right? Like it's over a little, it's a little bit of money. Right. And, and it does. And, and so like when you get that first revenue share check, like, you know, you want to talk about being a fan of EXP, you, you start to become a super fan. And so, you know, the goal is to get somebody and get people to revenue share fast, right? Like you're going to either sell houses or not sell houses. I don't care what company you're at. We can help you sell more houses. That's fine. But I think the key, the key thing is like, I can get you some of this revenue share, some of this passive income. I get you a little taste of that. You ain't never leaving EXP. And so like, we want to, we want to anchor that, you know, early. Drug dealer model. Right. <laughs> so, so I wanted to give some context to that because I think, cool. you know, you know, the reason that we create the wealth chart is to, is to make that first initial list of people and, um, and then start tracking, you know, uh, tracking and using this wealth chart to manage, you know, your, and, and having, you know, a, a system for how you manage your goals as it relates to age and attraction. So if, uh, if anybody listening in, they want to, they want to get their, um, you know, the personal group presentation call scheduled. Is it just, uh, just use your calendar link, set it up. Do you have a specific, um, there is a specific one in there for PGP one. now? Um, yeah, there is a specific one. Um, and I'm trying to think what the, what the best way to do. If you give me a day, I will go to jkinder.me and there'll be one specifically a link specifically for a PGP. Okay. Yep. So, um, that'll be on jkinder.me, the website. Um, we'll, you, we'll use that. So perfect. Um, all right, so so here is um, the the wealth chart and um, the kind of the training system for for how to use it. So um, the new one is a little bit different. We've got um, I think this goes through all of this. I didn't get a chance to go through it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to print up your, your wealth chart. Um, this is designed to be printed at twenty four by. Share 30. your uh, share your other screen. Uh, we got the dark. We got the dark screen showing. Oh, how about that? All right. Thank you. Yeah, buddy. <clears throat> Where'd you go? All right. It should be this one. Yep, there we go. All right. That working? Yes. So, all right. So it's designed to be printed at 24 by 36. So like the one that's on my wall is literally um, two feet by three feet. It's huge. And, and it's, um, um, it's on, it's printed on front a foam board with dry erase lamination. <clears throat> so you can write on it right and erase it and you can get it at Staples, FedEx print, um, office Depot, any play, any of those places can print this thing out. Um, and, um, you know, the other things you'll need is the little post-it notes. You're going to want to have uh, the little sticky things so you can stick it up on, on, on the wall. Um, and your expo markers or whatever. So uh, they're the three by one post-it notes, dry erase markers and the Velcro hanging strips. And here's basically um, the breakdown. So this is <clears throat> the hit list is, you know, the people, you know, the, the people that you're, you know, that you're, when you start making your list, your hit list is your, your top people that you're trying to get. Um, and you want to basically put the names of those people on the little post-it notes and put them on the hit list. Um, the working hot are the people that, have um, either attended a, a, a group presentation or they've watched the video or, and they've shown some interest. 
Um, I, I like to look at, you know, my working hot are people that, that I feel pretty strongly that I can get. Um, and, um, and they're moving, you know, moving closer to the process of joining. And the in process is, um, you know, the people that have um, hit the, done the application process. They started the process. They, they had a verbal yes, and they are in the process of joining um, EXP. And then um, the general, your generals are your people that are your, your, strong, your strong people that are in your group that are, um, that are heavy, heavily recruiting. These are the people that, um, that either you've developed into leaders within, um, you know, within your group or they're the people that are out there every day hustling on EXP. And, you know, that's, it's important, you know, it's important to know because these are your leaders that other people are going to be dependent on at some point. And so um, making sure that you, you keep track of your generals, you stay in touch with them, you provide them support, help them with anything that they need and keep them, um, you know, keep them excited and focused on the goals of recruiting. Um, you know, and I would say anybody that's a general, you know, is somebody that, you know, you're, you're seeing, you know, they printed out their wealth chart and they're out there hustling every day. You know, that's, you know, that's, uh, and they have some influence ideally that they're, they're, they're out there doing, um, you know, doing agent attraction. Um, and, and I look at, you know, your generals can be developed. Probably seven out of 10 of your generals would, you would develop that leader in, within your group. And, and probably three out of 10 might come already as a general. You know what I'm saying? Like they had all the influence and all, they, they don't even need your help. They just run. And so like, you know, you know as far as the numbers go, as, you get, as your group gets bigger, <clears throat> you'll find that, you know, you're, you're going to have to develop leaders within your group. They're not all going to just be leaders. You have to develop them. Um, and so this is your FLQAs. So this is where you're listing anybody that's a first line qualified agent. And, um, um, the first row is, you know, your, you know, first five, which unlocks your level two. Um, as you can see here, the, the, in the, in the bold, uh, the second, you know, you know, as you're to 10, then unlocks level three, four, five, six. And this is where we kind of increased it. That's where the old, uh, you know, the V1 wealth chart, um, was kind of lacking was, um, you know, it didn't have uh, the, the ability to get to 40. Um, you know, we all want to have that goal. And so that's going to be, um, on here as well. The other thing we went ahead and did was <coughs> we increased this to 50. I think mine goes to 60. Yeah, I think, I think mine goes to 60. There might be another version of this. Um, for those of you who are really ambitious, um, that's what you, you might print that one. But, and the reason for that is because, um, you don't want to stop right at 40. You, you want to get above 40 because, uh, you know, things can fluctuate sure. with people that become unqualified. So the, um, the next thing is you're unqualified. So this is an important list to seg segment and pay attention to. So I've got a whole list on the board over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. I've got 11 agents um, over here on the board that are not producing um, or, or not qualified. And I can help those agents. I can help them qualify. I can, uh, you know, I can move them. My goal is to move them from this, this unqualified over to here to, back up to the FLQA back up top. <laughs> right. So uh, making sure your agents are producing. And then, so your yearly goals, um, you know, having, you know, your yearly goal. And then that I put it, I put the number of agent, the agent count. And what, what I would tell you is once you get to a certain number, and I don't know that, you know, that certain number could, uh, you know, it could be 250, it could be 500, it could be a hundred. <clears throat> you start to see a growth rate that starts to normalize. And what I've seen um, is about between, you know, between five and 7% growth. This month it was 11% growth. So, you know, blew everything out of the water. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm imagining, well, actually that's the revenue. Uh, and that does make sense. That was for revenue. So scratch that comment. It was 11% growth in revenue, but that's because it's June and there's more house sales. So in terms of agent count growth, um, you know, that's kind of what I, what, what I put here in, you know, how many agents do I want here, 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 here. And, you know, you know, set those goals. Think out, you know, how, you know, how many agents, you know, you know, the average agent is worth, I think, $812 a year. So, you know, do the math on, on your big, you know, your big goal that you want to have, you know, for five years out. You know, if you, if you want to have 812 times, you know, a thousand agents, then that's, you know, that's $812,000. I don't know how to do that math on a calculator. <laughs> uh, I didn't know I was going to use a thousand, but you know, but if, if, a th if your goal is to have a thousand in your group in five years, that's an $812,000 passive income. <laughs> right. So, um, so you want to, you know, kind of, kind of look at a 5% compounding, you know, monthly or seven, five to 7% compounding monthly um, growth rate is kind of what you would expect. And you can, you know, kind of factor that out if you use Excel and do that. Um, and, I, and I know there's probably some questions coming in, so we'll, 
we'll definitely answer some. Yeah, of keep, those. keep rolling. We got him. I got him. We'll uh, <clears throat> we'll dive into him. And so, um, so total agents per level um, and potential revenue per level here. Um, essentially, you're you're you know you're you're keeping track of uh, where you know how many people you have in each level and what that what that revenue uh, is potentially worth. And um, and let's see if I've got anything missing here. So yeah, so. It's pretty unbelievable. Right now, at seventeen hundred and seventeen agents, it's one point three seven million um, in in revenue. So, um, is basically where I'm sitting uh, annually. And then the freedom numbers. Um, you know, how many agents do you need, and what's the revenue amount there? Um, and you know, this, and and this it, that's important because um, <clears throat> here's the here's the biggest challenge that everybody has um, in 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 focusing on agent attraction is. You got to do what you got to do to pay the bills, and then you're gonna focus on, you know, it's you know, it's almost like kind of trying to save money for yep. the future, right? Like, you know, when you need to pay bills, you got to pay the bills, but you know, you need to save for the future and invest in and in, in, in things that are gonna, you know, be able to get you financially free. And so, you know, the there's a certain percentage of time that you can spend on agent attraction, and and a certain percentage of time that has to be spent on things that are generating revenue right yep. now. And the goal is to get to the point where, you know, where you, you can, you know, where you have enough passive income that you don't have to do anything you don't want to do. Right. And, and what I mean by that is, you know, when your passive income hits, what is the number when you hit a certain number a month that you, you no longer have to spend any time doing any other activity that you don't want to do. Um, and, and what I would tell you is if that number is 5,000 or if it's 10,000, you know, when you hit that number and you're like, well, if I can get the 10, I could probably get the 20. Right. And that's where, that's where you start thinking and you're like, okay, well, I got to do less of this and these things that are, you know, eating up and occupying my time, I'm going to spend more time doing this, you know, this activity because of the return on investment of time. It's, it's a compounding monthly residual. There's nothing like it in the history of the world that I've ever seen. And in yep. terms of, uh, you know, you, you show me an, an, an activity that you can do with no risk and a passive income opportunity that compounds monthly and grows and, and grows and compounds monthly. Um, and I'm, I'm a buyer. I'm in, you know what I'm saying? Like that's what I'm going to spend my time on. So, so hit, you know, get clear on that freedom number and, and, and how many agents <clears throat> that would need to be. So you can start, you know, focusing on a daily activity that's going to drive that drive you to that result. Um, and then, yeah, and that's pretty much it. So th that's the freedom numbers. Um, and so, Okay, so yeah, basically you write the names down, identify the people uh, you, you know that you want to see the opportunity. This this initial hit list is probably going to be a lot bigger than what's on your board. Um, so you know you'd want to probably track that. You know you can you can you know add to this or or whatever you want to do. I mean you want to have sticky notes of all the names that you have of people that you're working. And I was keeping them in Excel before this, but you want to have the biggest list you can get. Take the time to identify the list. It's the most important step in the process. People that skip this step and think that they're just going to, you know, one off, go talk to people um, are missing out the opportunity. If you take the time to do this, especially with that PGP, it's a huge, it's a huge win, um, a, a huge fast win that you can get. Um, get the, get those people on that private group uh, presentation. Um, you know, the people that are working hot um, now that you've, you know, you know, you've actually, you know, officially joined and are in EXP. Um, you know, um, before you make your public announcement, uh, get people on that first PGP. I think that, I think this is the, I think Mike left these, these for me to change. I didn't change them. So, um, yeah. So in the working hot, you know, these are people you want to be getting on three-way calls uh, is what I would tell you. You got people that are, you know, you've got that are hot. I have, I can't tell you how many people I talked to six months later and they haven't put me on a call with anybody and they're telling, right. and they're telling me that they're doing certain activities that are not any activities that we've been recently talking about doing. And they're not, they're just not plugged in, right? Like if, if you're not in our calendars, um, you know, you're missing, you're missing an opportunity to leverage that leverage us. And we're, we're pretty good at this now. You know, I mean, we can help. There's a lot of ways that, you know, I just got off a call with a, a Remax, a guy that had two Remax offices and he didn't know me from Adam and um, he was not coming to EXP until he got off. The, but when he got off that call with me, he's, he's highly considering EXP because I, I explained it to him in a way that he understood it and I understood his goals and, and helped him get clear on why joining ESP was, would be a good decision for him. So you know, make sure you're leveraging these things, um, these tools uh, to do that. So working hot in process, I don't think there's really anything, um, um, anything um, tremendously valuable that we haven't covered here. Um, 
Yeah. So, I mean, this is just breaking down everything individual. I think that's, that's probably really kind of overkill, but um, yeah. So let's, let's do, um, let's do this. Let's uh, answer some questions or. Uh, 100%. Yeah. Um, so Kelly, Kelly was asking, you know, for, for those that, that are not aware or whatever the, I mean, obviously you can see the main difference from V1 to, you know, from Rob's version to this. Right. And, you know, I, I come back to, it's the whole, visualization right if you don't see it it doesn't manifest right that's why vision boards are so powerful that's why you know when we see it it, it starts to become reticular activator goes off we start to think about it all the time so to me that's the big difference anything there that you would want to add some context to uh say, say that again to context to the what now to the to the difference between rob's you know oh, the yeah. original version and, and this new version yeah so um yeah i think um i think once you get to you know you know, and, and there's there's some simplicity in the V1 that, that I think is valuable. I think it, it was meant to be, um, you know, something simple to get started and to be using. And I used it. I used it. Me and Al had ours up on the board, you know what I'm saying? And, and every, day. You know, every day we were working on different people and having different conversations, and it was extremely valuable. And so I think I think that, you know, this, this version was really more created for, um, you know, for, for generals. I mean, I think, I think we're, we're at a level where we're – um, we're trying to track um, what we're doing at, at a very high level, and um, we're wanting to keep those goals in front of us. Um, but I think we wanted to just add, you know, add a few areas. What are the things that I like to look at every day? And that was that was kind of the question we asked. Sure. And, um, you know, every day there's certain things I'm looking at. I want to know my hit list. Um, you know, that wasn't necessarily on, you know, the, you, know you, you were supposed to put them on there, but, you know, that, that hit list is, is a key part of it. And then you're working hot. Like, who are your people that are hot? And, you know, when, when you're prioritizing your day and you go, okay, what am I doing today? Well, who do I have in process I need to check on? Who do I have working hot that I need to get scheduled a three-way? And who do I have, you know, on my hit list that I need to get, you know, move, move into the working hot? I need to get a, a conversation going with, uh, with somebody. And so, um, you know, I think that was really kind of the goal was to, you know, to, to help have it all in one place. And, um, you know, I, I think the visualization is huge. I think having it out in front of you every single day it's real easy to, to when, you know, when, especially if you have a couple of, you know, if you don't start out of the gate strong, it's real easy to kind of not focus on it. Uh, and, you know, it's just, you know, it's a, that's not a good strategy, right? So like get that thing printed up, you know, put it out in front of you every day. This should be a, it, it, regardless of if you spend 20% of your time on it or, or whatever, you know, what the, it's the, it, it better be a part of your daily activities. Like the, the two a day strategy, at least introducing two people a day, is um is is at a bare minimum, you know that's that should be your goal. If you do that, it'll be life changing. You'll look up a year from now, or like Gene Frederick, four years from now, and be at you know half a million a month in revenue share. And that's a real that's a real number, and it's real possible for anybody. You know, Gene Gene brought thirty something people or whatever it is, and now it's over forty probably by now. But you know, you know, and they brought you know whatever it is, ten thousand agents. You know what I mean? Like we're only at twenty thousand agents. Like, you know, there's going to be more people that are going to be making that kind of money. So right. might as well be you, you know, right. 100%, 100%. So, um, on, on the, on that, uh, Levi had mentioned, I was kind of curious too. You want to talk about the color system that you're using? What, what are the different colors? Um, yeah. what do they mean? Um, yeah. So I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a weird, weird, I'm a little weird like that. Um, so my, my color system is, um, it's not, you know, I've got, here's what I did. <laughs> so can y'all see, can y'all see this on my, yep. you see this? All right, so, so for me, what, what the green is, the green are my FLQAs. The yellows are my FLQAs that are in that first six months that I don't know if they're going to close a deal or not, right? <clears throat> and these are the people that are unqualified. They're red because they're um, not qualified. Green means no, red means stop, uh, yellow means caution. <laughs> I'm, and, and I'm tell so everybody – Tell everybody what, what the difference is uh, from to be qualified and unqualified. Yeah, so the difference to be being qualified means you closed um, uh, two transactions in the past six months or um, or or five thousand in DCI. For a lot of markets, that's going to be one deal. So you know, if you got a bunch of new agents, um, you know, it's funny how this works. Some people, sometimes they don't sell. I got one group that's I got a, a husband wife team that that um, that dropped off unqualified. And I was like, man, they're not, they might be leaving the company because they were a team and they used to sell a ton of real estate. They just had a really slow six months, um, like yeah. really slow. You know, how do you go six months and not sell anything? You know, so, you know, but that happened. And so I called them. I'm like, hey, you guys okay? What's going on? You know, and they're like, no, we got like five deals under contract. We just had a slow winter. 
And I was like, Oh shit, I was scared. So like, you know, just didn't want to check in on them, you know? And yeah, so that's, you know, you, you always want to be checking in on your people and making sure that, you know, they're producing and they're, they're, they're happy. They're not unhappy. Um, and, um, you know, that just, you know, has just a little better way for you to kind of make sure. Cause once you get to a certain level, that's, you know, you, you're, you're, you start, you get to a certain point where you're managing your group. Um, <laughs> um, you're man it's, it's FLQA management. Um, because you know, you drop down a level or two that can be very costly. I love it. Um, what is, so, uh, Lisa was, Lisa made a, made a kind of a, a confession here. And so just, just from a confidence standpoint, I, I mean, um, she's, she's not alone, right? There's, there's, there's a lot of, of folks that I've talked to, you know, they just, they just don't have the confidence to invite and, and ask and present, you know, the opportunity what would you say to somebody that's kind of, you know, um, not feeling the confidence to, to, to ha you know, to have that conversation for somebody that they really want to reach out to that would definitely be on their hit list, but they just haven't, they just haven't done it. Right. So what, what I would say is, um, you know, I heard this analogy, Brian gave this analogy um, in, in a video that um, I just watched yesterday. He said, um, you know, how many of you would take a bullet for your kid? Right. Like, you know, if you had to, you, know, um, you would do anything for him. Right. So why not? Uh, how many no's would you take then? Right. How many no's would you take for your kids? You know, look at it from that perspective. Like if you, if you would take a bullet for your kid, how many no's would you take? W would you stop at one? No. Would you stop at 10 no's? Would you stop at a thousand no's? You know, um, and you know, you're, you're trying to build your, um, you know, you're, you're trying to create wealth and trying to create, um, an opportunity for you to be able to support your family, spend more time with your family. Um, and, and, if, and don't be afraid of a handful of no's, you know, and, you know, Darren Hardy, you know, gives this analogy of, you know, th there's, there's this, and this is so damn true that you can't swing the pendulum to success. You can't just swing the pendulum to success. You have to first swing to failure before you swing to success. The more you swing to failure, the more success you have, the more you swing to failure, the, the more success you have. You're going to have to fail. Don't be afraid to fail. Don't be afraid to go botch it and mess it up, you know, and, and then, you know, go on to the next one. So you probably don't want to practice on your best people that you want to try to get, but you want to, you know, you want to, you want to go fail. And I can tell you that, 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 that what it creates is momentum towards success. You're going to go out there and you're going to mess it up and they're not going to be interested and, and you should be excited. You got to change the mindset of being like, oh, damn, they didn't say yes to hell yeah i got my first no right i got my first no i'm on my way to you know i'm on my way to 100 no's today i'm gonna get 100 no's today and then you know at, you know in that 100 no's you're gonna find three yeses right that's what happened yep. so like that's the that's the that's the that's what i would do is try to shift your mindset from it it's no different than calling a fizzbo or an expired or elite any leads right like we we get caught up in saying man my goal today is to get you know three people to say yes to set an appointment no, nah, your, your, your goal should be to get a hundred people to say no um, and, and, and fall in love with that process. Um, and with that, you'll get, you know, a handful of yeses. You know what I'm saying? Right. But the goal today should be able to survive the hundred no's, man. I'm all about it. Let me get to a hundred. That's all. That's, that's where I'm doing today. That's the activity I'm, I've bought into. So, you know, and it shouldn't have to be that hard, but, but, you know, you will have more success. The more you, the more that you, you try it, come back to the, you know, to the book, the training and be like, okay, what did I do? Right. What did I do wrong? Okay. Well, I screwed that up. Let me try it again. You know? And so you're, you know, that's, that's what I would say. <coughs> and being, the, going back to the, that system in the beginning, when I talked about, you know, step what that, this is why step one is be excited, get excited. Right. Like if you can't get excited about your current situation, then get excited about my situation and talk about that. Be like, this is nuts. I just was on a webinar day with this Jack of Lantern from Oklahoma that <laughs> making 120,000 a month with this opportunity. Would you be open to it? If I could get him on a call, would you be open to look at it? If I could send you a video, would you watch it? Like, you know, that's get excited about that. Like, you know, then, you know, um, and it'll transfer to your, your bank account soon enough. If you, if you, you stay excited and continue to talk to people, you're going to find people that, that gravitate towards your, um, towards your positivity and towards your excitement and your enthusiasm. And they're going to want to know more. That's a, that's a, that's an absolute fact. So all, all of the, the script and the, and, and uh, the, the dialogues and the trainings, I know, I know you've got in a slide deck from presentation, but do we have that ready for that way we can, you know, roll this out to everybody in the group? 
Yes. Um, so, so most, most of this is already, all the training has been created. Most of the videos have all been uh, created. Um, what I would tell you is um, um, all of these videos uh, that we have will be in expert mentors in the tool. <clears throat> and then all of them will also be uploaded to the group um, in this Facebook group. So when you search videos, you'll be able to find them. Um, yep. The script is in there. This the eight step presentation script, you know, eight, I think it's eight point or eight step, eight step something. It's a document in the Facebook group. So you can find the, the script. It's got a whole lot of variations of, of, you know, depending on if you know them, you don't know them, all that kind of stuff. Um, as we, as we continue to roll out, I know Mike's been, um, and Woods have been working on all these slides. I mean, he basically just gave me those this morning um, for, from the, for the new wealth chart. So all that stuff is in the group um, and you can find it there and we'll continue to be adding stuff to expert mentors and to this group. You know, um, a lot of that presentation is there at the top that Mike posted um, yep. as you can see there as well. Yeah. I'm sharing this. I'm sharing the screen. I'm in the honey badger group. If you guys aren't in here, uh, well, obviously you would be in here. This is how you got on the call. Right, right, right. But, um, you know, make sure your people are in here, get them in this group as fast as you can get them in. You know, it says, you know, 1756 members. So there's several hundred people that are not in that are, that are in part of this organization that are not in there. And, um, this is a must, must watch, right? This is, uh, this is Jay's, uh, one big fire presentation that, uh, delivered in Cincinnati. And um, I know you've done it a couple times, but go through and watch this is, is a must. And just so you guys know, take advantage of everything that's over here in this group, right? Files, right? Look at, look at all of that. I mean, that's the, it's a treasure trove of, of resources for you guys. Everything is in here. I mean, yep. Dude, it's, it's unbelievable how much stuff is in here that, um, you know, just not aware of, of where it's at to take advantage of. And so take advantage of it videos. Um, there's, there's all kinds of, I mean, there's, there's tons and tons and tons of stuff. And then, um, you know, definitely you can go in and search this group. You can just type in EML for expert mentors live and there they are. They all pull up for you. Nice. So definitely uh, take advantage of the, of the group. It's a, it's a treasure trove of, of information. Um, I was, uh, did a, uh, did a training call with, with GoGo this morning and we were, uh, she was like, we were talking about just telling her where everything was and just kind of, because she was recording a video to give to her people of where everything is, take advantage of, of everything. And um, I said, if they get through all of that content and they still want more, hit us up because I can unlock a little bit more that they would be like, we have so much training content and information, right. like you could watch it nonstop for years right. and get through it all. Right. So. 100%. Uh, take advantage of it. Okay, cool. So, um, what process uh, for agents that are meeting at uh, events, open houses, or just meeting that don't necessarily know other than meeting once, yep. once somewhere? Uh, I think with those, with those, with those people, um, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm starting. I'm going to carefully say something here, and, and knowing that my calendar probably would not survive this, but um, if people are open to an opportunity and they're genuine, like you're genuinely talking to somebody who's open to opportunity. And they seem like they would they would get it. Um, then then I would use that same script for a PGP, and I would put them on a call with someone in your in your upline. Right. Um, and and I, I think you know if I was to do that, my calendar's like literally full today, yesterday, today, tomorrow, next day, like forever. Um, I'm not letting <laughs> me travel anymore. So like right now, you know, my calendar is actually more wide open than it's ever been. Um, you know, so I I don't want to be on the on on a call with people that are not open minded and excited to be on a call with me. Um, you know, so, you know, bear that in mind, but I would say that if you, if you talk to somebody that's open-minded and, and you give them that same PGP script that we talked about earlier, um, you know, um, and they, and they say, yeah, I jump on the call, then, um, then say, let me see what I can do. And then you go find a spot and say, Hey, listen, I can do this. You know, I, you know, he, this guy takes his time very seriously. So like, you know, if you're going to do this, I need you to promise me, you're not going to make me look bad and, and not show up. You know, so, you know, you promise me you'll be there. Okay right? Like getting people to make a moral commitment to it. And then um, you get them on a call and get, get, give me 20 minutes with them. I'll, I'll, I'll warm them up. Then you can send them the videos and they'll watch them, you know? So, um, so that's, that's, that's another, another way to look at it. Ideally what video um, do we want to send them? Yeah. One big fire. I mean, I, th I think you send them one big fire, you know, that video and in, in expert mentors is about, you know, it's a, it's an angle. Um, it's funny. Uh, Chris Smith messaged me today. And um, he wants to interview me on water cooler. And, and he, he, I love, I love Chris and he's, he's pretty bold. He's like, 
he's like, you know, he's, he's like, dude, y'all's approach is brilliant. What you're doing is brilliant. No one else is getting it. No one else is doing it. But like, I see what y'all are doing. Y'all, y'all, y'all got this thing dialed in. And, and, you know, from one marketer to another that just understands positioning yeah. that the one big fire video is really all about, you know, uh, um, you know, helping people with where they're at, get to the next level of the real estate business. Nobody's waking up going, Oh, I want to go recruit agents every day. That's not what happens. Um, you know, it's, you know, you end up getting excited about it when you see the opportunity and, and that's what kind of gets people going. Um, but you know, most of, most people are trying to get from, you know, their income from one level to the next. And when you show them, you can help them do that. And then you could do it much better because of the model at EXP and there's even more opportunity and there's even more opportunity than that. You know, like, that's when, you know, you just got like a really ridiculously good offer uh, for people to, you know, if they're open minded, <laughs> that they're going to want to, they're going to want to, you know, they're going to lose sleep over it until they make a decision to join. Right. I got a guy yesterday, um, didn't join, um, half the people in this group probably know him. Um, he didn't join because Keller Williams did a deal that was a deal that couldn't be done in any other situation, situation but this, and he stayed. He said, every, he, got, he called me yesterday. He said, I think about it every single day. He said, not from the fear of missing out, but I just know that, that I just know what I could be doing there. I know what, I know what would be happening if I was at EXP. And, you know, he called me back today after meeting with leadership at Keller Williams and he's coming on board, you know, but it's, it's, it's funny, you know, um, people that get it and they watch the videos and they understand the business model, um, you know, they're, they're going to eventually come. You just got to stick with them, stay in touch. Follow up with them. There's no such thing as somebody saying no to EXP. It's just not yet. Um, you know, that's the mindset. You know, continue to text and follow up with people. Send them everything, you, you know, anything you can to keep them interested. Um, and, and always stay positive. Yeah, absolutely. And, and um, you know, br uh, you know, just go, go talk a lot about this in um, – in Cincinnati, it was kind of kind of his theme. You know, all of our masterminds um, they all they all end up having their own theme, and it's not it's not intentional. It's just organically what comes up. And and uh, one of the big takeaways for for me from Gove coming out of out of there was was definitely the uh, you know the ego versus capital. And um, you know, I I see it a lot. Um, you know, just especially you know the amount of um, agents that I, that I get to talk to on a, on a weekly, monthly, you know, basis. And the ones that have that, that block, um, man, it's, it's just that ego is getting in the way and it, yep. it really is, it really is a, a challenge. And, um, you know, you have to be willing to sacrifice that, that ego to get to, to the bigger, the bigger reward. Right. And, um, sometimes and gene talks about it all the time right it's um you know it's the, it's the whole gate of the mind and you cannot penetrate through that as long as their mind is closed and you have to you have to figure out how do you how do you go about connecting to the story that's playing in their head to open up their open up right. the gate of their mind exactly well said well said hey, one thing i will say um and, and you know I, I would i would say you know i i just i can tell you this is what if you want to know what we're world, world class at this is what we're world class at. We are world class at finding a better way, and we are world class at being good students. And you know, we we ain't we ain't no dummies. The reason you know we shared that video and the opportunity with Legal Shield is because we know who the master is, and it's Brian Carruthers. And I've been on three Zoom calls with him this week. Um, and you know, Brian Carruthers wrote that wrote the book that we're telling you all to read. You know, I've, I've already been through it on Audible twice and I've already colored the whole damn thing up. I already created a presentation based upon the book. The, the reason that I'm doing that is because I know that that's a better way. And either you're consuming at that level and you're trying to learn at that level or you're kind of half assing it, you know, and that's and, you know, you got to be all in on learning and growing and trying to and trying to to nail down the process. Because there's an, you know, there's an easy, much easier way that we are finding out how to do agent attraction in mass um, because we're being students. And so, like, be, be a student, you know, and, and by God, be at the damn events. Like, you know, a bunch of 100%. You, you guys are, you guys got to be kidding me. Man, you know, that are life changing and you can't find a way to get there. Come on. You know, Jesse, Jesse Itzler talks about this. This is one of his core foundational principles. You get to every event you can. It doesn't matter. You, he said. He said you buy the cheapest seats. It doesn't matter. You're at every event, and uh, man, that like that that rang so true. It's just like you know, are are you guys you know are you guys going to Brent Gove's deal 
right? Are you coming to agent to CEO? Are you going to come to boot camp? Are you going to EXP con? Are you, if you qualify, are you going to Key West, right? Are you getting to those events? Are you taking advantage of it? Are you going to your local masterminds? Are you getting to those, to those places? Are you showing up to local lunch and learns? Like, right. That, you know, that's, you know, you got to plug in, you got to plug in, you got to plug in. So don't, you know, make it, make a point, you know, whatever you have to do to get there, get there. It's life changing. That's all I can tell you. There's nobody that comes to any of the events we've ever done and be like, Oh, I wish I hadn't done that. Nobody, <laughs> not one no. ever. So I'm, I'm, I can, all I can tell you is, is um, it's been the secret. It's the secret to my, it, let me show y'all. I, let me just show you. I'm not just talking about it. You see it? Yeah, can you see it? You see it right there? Are those the hotel, t are those the hotels? These are hotel keys. Yeah, I got mine. I've been, I've been, I've been I saving them for my... about a decade now. Oh, no. um, but that's not all of them. That's just since I've been saving them. Now, that's, yes. that, if, if, you know, I, I'm not asking you to do something <laughs> that I haven't done myself. <laughs> I got them everywhere. Oh man, that's funny yep. stuff. Hey, we've got about two minutes um, to to kind of put a wrap on things. And um, yeah, here's my my lanyard my lanyard uh, collection. We like to collect them. Mine are mine are right up there too. Right. <laughs> Get you some. Get it. Go be a learner. You know what, man? You know, I, I tell this story. I tell the story a lot. You know. Um, if you, if you've got your team and it's just one of the, and I, I, let's, let's, I'm going to wrap with this because I think this is uh, this is really important to understand. If you've got team people, generals, any, whatever, you know, I came on board with you in October of 2004. And I think um, I put the stamp on the envelope that we sent the check to Craig for the first Proctor group. And um, yeah, 20 something thousand, wasn't it? 20 G's. 20 G's. And um, you were like, you're going with me. And that was one of the principles that always rang true. And I, and I, and I, I passed that lesson along to, to everybody that I, that I can. And I try to get everybody that's kind of, you know, on our teams to, to the events, you know, like we got Keani to Cincinnati. It's just, just those right. things that you've got to, you've got to expose them. And so I just challenge everybody on the call. Um, if you've got people that you're leading, um, you're grooming them, leaders, building leaders, bring them with you, send them to the events. They've got to be there. They've got to soak it up because, you know, you can't scale hero and you've got to, you've got to build the people up around you. Yep. hundred percent, man. Invest. If you're going to invest in your people, that's where you invest in them and getting them to events, get them into the culture of what we're doing. Um, is it's, it's huge. It's life changing. So wow. yeah, man. Awesome, man. Great call. Um, awesome brother. Everybody jumping on and, um, and definitely, um, looking forward to, you know, the upcoming events we have, make sure you're looking at all that stuff and, and, um, plug in, plug in and, um, you know, leverage us, whatever we can do to help you guys. Awesome. Appreciate you, cuz. Appreciate you guys. And we'll see you on the next episode.